This is what many people do not realise. When, you know, the die, you know, rim cracks, this is what it leaves a mark. Yeah, as you can see on the rim here. It's same as uh, the 1943D, as they uh, hold it. Same as this one. Same rim crack of the die, you know. It, obviously, it's on both of the 1943 copper, brass, Denver, mint coins here, as you can see. Right, so obviously, they would have, this one doesn't have that, you see. 1943 Denver mint, yeah. This one doesn't have the, you know, rim. See the rim, yeah. It hasn't cracked, obviously. I mean, you know. So obviously brass is like strong as well and slightly different from steel. So when the hopper comes down and the die of the coins making, you know, these coins, this is what happens. It actually is cracked. Yep, there we are. Look, on both of the coins, yeah. They're, you know, like it's cracked. Okay, I'll just take it out of zoom. You can see the crack there. You can see it on here. But you can't see it on the third one. 1943 Denver Brass, you know, copper, yeah. Abraham Lincoln coin. You don't see it on this one, yeah. And none of these will stick to a magnet. There's that. This is a magnet. Yeah, I put it on here. It won't stick. It won't stick on here. Oops, so easy. Let's pick it up. Won't stick on there, yeah. But I'll pick a scissors, a kind of a scissors up, yeah. There. Oh, pick the scissors up without any difficulty. Now these are 19... Hold it. You zoom in. There's no crack on these as well, you see, yeah. They've been graded, these coins. 1944 Denver Mint Copper, yeah? Okay? The state isn't all that brilliant. And <clears throat> this is another, it's a, what is it? PCGS, yeah? 69S, you know, Cam 1C. Okay? This one, right, is a 1969 and there is no crack as you see on the rim except whoops some well kind of a no it's not a crack don't think it's a crack nope don't see a crack there on this rim or is it just closer look no it's not it is Almost cracking, isn't it? I think. Nope. Anyway, that's how it is, you see, you know, on the rest of the wheat coins. Yeah. And on this one, it doesn't crack. Because obviously, switching, you know, when they started switching uh, to steel. Yeah. So a few of these copper uh, round plates were in the hopper you see okay and obviously coming down with the uh, you know with the certain press you know pressure uh, that was meant to be for steel probably and uh, the coppers were in there and basically this one didn't get cracked yeah 1943 Denver Mint Abraham Lincoln but this one the rim, if you look close, yeah, I'll zoom in again, there, yeah, see it's cracked, the rim has cracked of the die, and then it leaves this mark, you see, okay, same thing with this one as well, you know, it's got the same identical, yeah, kind of a crack, you can see the crack on the die, yeah. There we are, the mark there. And there are many other details, obviously, from genuine, you can tell, right?
can always distinguish between, you know, fake Chinese, wherever they are, if they do make them. But obviously there are many Europeans over there and uh, Americans in China, you see. So, I mean, <clears throat> they do tend to make, you know, like uh, fake coins, this and that. But these are from the UK. Because many Americans, right, came to the UK, especially uh, Manningham Lane, Bradford. And uh, they were, you know, bringing in uh, silk stockings and what have you. Uh, for the English ladies and Italian ladies and mixture of, you know, people in England at that time. You know, Britain. Yeah. So that's that. Right. I'll just do a weight test as well. Switch this on. Okay. And you can see the weight test. Yeah. This one, I think it's my weight. Isn't all that brilliant. It seems that you're different each time all day. Needs setting, I'm sure. Right. There we go. 309. Okay. I'll put this one back here. Yeah, I'll take this one and put that there and that's 306 I think it depends where you put the coin on the this weighing scale nope it's still the same still the same it's kind of 736 still the same anyway I'll put this one back let's do this one again put it in the middle somewhere yeah where it's 3.14 yeah I mean yeah so each one is, you know, slightly different. The other were two, like, wear and tear. Yeah. I mean, you know. So, I mean, if, if you observe the colour of these, orange-brown, that's what they should be. It's like this one. This is an orange-brown as well, but, you know, it's been polished probably by P PCGS to get, you know, like a higher grade thing or something. You know, PR67RD cam. Yeah, this one's got a PCGS XF40. It's basically just dark, you see. Yeah, this is a copper one, but obviously, if you observe it, not a lot, you know, good details here. But whereas these coins have a great detail, I mean, you know, superb detail, I think these should come up as 70, you see grading as 70 or 69 whatever yeah because they're in good condition and this one as well this one seems to have like a strange shine to it you know yeah but still good detail there if you observe that yeah orangey brown yeah and that's uh, like a orangey brown Yep, but a bit shiny, 1969S, yeah, you know, so I think I've done the testing, yep.